I bought something that I probably shouldn't have. I buy it with my heart, and I know I shouldn't be doing that. I'm at a dealer auction, and I just had a little bit of extra change, and I bought something I've always wanted, and in about 10 seconds, you're gonna find out what it was. Let's go stroll down in the auction and see what I bought today. So welcome to Flying Wheels. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. And one of the better decisions I made in my life long, long ago was start a small car dealership in Florida. I started on my own. It was a good day. Hey, look at that Lincoln Mark 8 F-150. You never see those anymore. Anyway, I got distracted. A long time ago, I decided to go all in and start myself a small car dealership, my, basically my driveway. And it grew from there. And then I started making YouTube videos. And now I make YouTube videos about my car dealership. And a lot of times I buy nonsense today I bought some nonsense and it's for personal reasons it has nothing to do with the car dealership but it, it's fun I think I'm gonna enjoy it and I'm almost there and you're gonna come along with me and go check it out now at this auction there's thousands of cars like there's good cars there's old cars there's new cars there's bad cars a little bit of everything high-end cars low-end cars but I look for the oddities I look for the strange things that not a lot of people are looking at why that's bad business it doesn't even make sense because I should be buying what people want right I don't. I buy what I want. And like, I come up with these loose-brained ideas where I'm like, hey, that's kind of fun. Let's buy that. That would be a good idea. And because I get paid from YouTube, it's like, I don't know, justified. Because I can make a video and it kind of supplements spending silly money on silly things. I'm almost there. Here it is right here. I bought a bus. What the heck do I need a bus for? A bus, exactly. That was exactly what was on my mind. This is my newest pickup, a 2007 Chevy minibus, school bus, short bus, whatever you want to call it. Only has 41,000 miles. Now here's the thing. I have three kids, a wife, I have sister, brother, they all have kids. I have cousins that we go to concerts and we go to like sporting events and we always have to take multiple cars or rent a van or, and it gets expensive. I paid $3,500 for this short bus. And I just like, I always wanted a short bus. I always wanted one for myself. I always wanted to have a little bit of fun in a short bus, pick people up. I want to get like an auga horn or a pop, 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 horn. Now I know nothing about this bus except that it ran through, like it actually drove through the lane a few minutes ago. So I know that it kind of runs a little bit. Now I have the opportunity to go through the entire auction and look at everything and kind of test drive everything, start them, put them in drive, put them in reverse. I did not do that to this bus, but this is what sold me on it. Brings me back to my childhood. You coming in or not? No yelling on the bus. Everybody in? Good, great, grand, wonderful. No yelling on the bus. Everybody on? Good, great, grand, wonderful. No yelling on the bus! Now it has a fancy Panasonic CD player, does have AC. Let's just, without further ado, let's see if it starts. Boop, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, all right. 47,000 miles, that's only blinking because it's LED on a phone. Hey, the radio works and the AC is cold. Actually, the radio stinks. I'm thinking it would be kind of neat to put like a kicking stereo in this thing, like speakers, decent speakers. Oh, it has speakers all over it. Oh, look, it has like a full AC unit up there. That's good too. That's probably like, I don't know, it probably has its own switch or on off button, not just the HVAC that's through the dash. Does it have a tow package? I absolutely hope so. Ah, check engine light, oil change, airbag, ABS light on, horn works. Does have a safety first aid kit. Oh, equipped with a poncho and everything. Look, brand new inbox. Oh, this too. Oh, rear air, oh shoot. That wasn't supposed to happen. That's a knob, I guess. So, oh, there it is. Rear air is on. Does it work? And that thing is powerful. Oh, jeez. It blows pretty well. Has the, I've always wanted to climb out of one of these things. I'm gonna be able to now. Does it set the alarm if I do it? Let's shut the fan off first. Shut the fan off if I do it, and am I going to be able to get? Oh, cool! Nice. 
There are actually instructions right there. So I pull it down. So here's what I'm thinking. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 passenger. I don't have that many friends, so I don't need 14 seats. I'm thinking if I remove these, two, four, six, get these three benches out right here, we have storage, put coolers, we can put like, I don't know, a reclining chair. I, I honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. All I know is I can't block. So, oh, it has seatbelts. And honestly, I think every person I pick up is gonna have fun in this because it's gonna be like, hey, I'm back to school, memories, happy memories usually. Or we can be a bully on the bus where we shoot paper clips back at people. All right, I gotta go back in the auction. I'm gonna go see if I can buy anything else. I'm gonna get this thing back to my shop. Question, did they actually make a Chrysler 300 in a convertible? Or is this a completely custom job? It's pretty cool looking. A few hours later. All right, it's been a little while. The auction is over, you all know. Papa Al, here to join me on a wonderful Thursday. This is our other purchase, a 2012 Wrangler Unlimited. What's nice about the 2012? Newer engine, 3.6 liter, not the 3.8. And you get the newer interior, not that old dated interior. Grill and bumpers are faded, has a lift kit, needs tires, these are super choppy. And look at how rusty everything gets in New England. But the right color, this is a good looking color. Somebody left it on, bummer pup. I'm gonna surprise you with our next purchase. You don't know what we bought yet. Here, don't climb up in this one. Uh, I'll give you this and I'll meet you at it. It's much easier to get in and out of. Okay. All right, so it's uh, E104, it's a big white one. Okay, I'll meet you over there. All right, thank you. The school bus. Oh, it says it on there? Yeah. I'll meet you at the school bus. <laughs> it's amazing how some people take care or drive their vehicles. Like, listen to this thing going, I'm going 10 miles an hour. And listen how loud it is. Hello. These chopped tires. I, I don't know how somebody would have driven this. Here we go. There it is. You need Graham to drive this. I she know. She has a CDL. My grandmother, bus. my 83 year old grandmother has a CDL. She used to drive a school bus. I like it. A little bit of fiberglass, some paint. You take 80 from 200, and we have a deal. Go for it. Oh yeah, isn't this great? Look, has an armrest too. The big mirror, lots of space. I think the keys are in the cup holder or in that thing right there. Oh, she purrs like a kitten. This should have the six liter V8. That's a pretty indestructible engine. All right, I'll meet you up top. Okay, thank you. All right, see you up top. All right. <laughs> Doesn't look like it has a great turning radius. Does look good from behind though, just like my wife. They're all picking on him up there. Look, he fit that, he fit that bus in that little garage with no problem at all. That is you. Yeah. I like it. This thing made my day today. What she got under that hood? It should be a six liter. 4.8 liter. All right. A little V8. Still a good engine. Cast iron block. That's a workhorse. We're loaded up. Let's take the bus to lunch. We'll give it a good old test route. Come on in. You good to go? Ready to go. All right, let's get some lunch. It's surprisingly comfortable. AC's cold, radio works. Seat has a lot of cushion. How you doing back there? Feeling great. I feel like a third grade. Right. Back in the good old days. We didn't have school buses. You didn't have school buses? Walked up both ways. Oh, walked up both ways, but you lived in the city anyway. Yeah. You would have walked to school with a book strap over your shoulder, right? We didn't have book bags. We had one belt strapped around the books. One belt strapped around the books. What'd you do for lunch? Was that the apple a day for the teacher type of thing? Did you have hot lunch? No, hot lunch. We had, elementary school was two sessions. 
We had an hour off. We went home to lunch and came back for the second section. You would leave elementary school to go home yeah. in the middle of the day? Yeah. With no adult? No adult. Jeez, that's crazy. I just realized I need to be the last one out of the bus because yeah. I'm the one that has to shut the door from the inside and then I can exit. So we are at my overflow shop. This is where things go to die. That is my RV, actually it was his over there. His RV originally bought a brand new in 1999. That's our RV that we inherited years and years ago and made lots of family memories. Now that is something. I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna go to concerts with it. Maybe I'll put a couch in it, maybe I'll put a TV. Maybe I'll make it awesome, maybe I won't. I have no idea. That is my 13,000 mile processionary limo hearse that we've used I don't know, maybe three, three, four times a summer, and it's awesome. So I'm replacing this with this, because this tied up like 10 grand, that only tied up under 4,000. And to be honest with you, as awesome as this is, that's actually more practical, because this doesn't have a lot of storage, but look at how comfortable and nice it is. Again, 13,000 miles, so I'll go here. Fits three, six, nine. We went to a concert in it this summer, and we really had to squeeze because, I mean, it fits basically what my wife's Suburban fits. No longer an issue, thanks to that bus. All right, Pop, swap vehicles. That one's yours for the day. Okay, the one, yeah. One? Take wide turns. You drove limos? Wow, you learn something new every day. That burnout mark is from him. All right, I'll meet you at my shop. Fun day at Flying Wheels today.